hello everyone. Uh, so on behalf of co-chair of Rama and David, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, maturity metrics for consistent data quality readings. Um, the Um, I like to start with definition of qualities. I'm going to go uh, talk very fast. Um, if I need to slow down, mean let me know. So the quality can be a distinctive attribute or characteristic possessed by something, how good or bad a thing is, or it can be the degree of excellence of something. So for this talk, the quality uh, includes both data and information quality. Um, there are increased demand for quantifiably assessed information and the data quality, but we are also facing many challenges. Two of the main challenges are the fact there are many data quality attributes, and uh, they are, tend to be also tend to be multi-perspective and uh, multi-dimensional. I'll talk a little bit um, in the next few slides. And at the same time, there's currently no community standards for measuring and presenting quality readings. How many data quality attributes um, you would ask um, by based on one and strong 1996 paper, and they did survey with the uh, uh, data consumers, at least there are 179 quality attributes. And many of them are overlapping. And I have a list here uh, regarding accuracies, correctness, and validated position, free from bias, et cetera, et cetera. You got the idea. From this 179 attributes, one is strong, select 15 based on the importance of quality to data consumers. And they categorize into four dimensions. Uh, intrinsic, contextual, representational accessibility. One can also, uh, looking at the data quality based on different data product life cycle stages, and as Jiaqing has mentioned uh, in Rama et al. 2017, IQC paper in data, uh, in digital data, uh, digital laboratory magazine, and we have categorized data and the information quality into four dimensions. One is the science quality during the defining, developing, validating stages, and co product quality uh, during producing, assessing, delivering stages, storeship during uh, maintaining, preserving, and disseminating stages, as well as service um, quality for data use, user support, and services. So can we qualifiably assess data and information qualities? The answer is yes. Um, there are many different approaches, but maturity assessment model in a form of a matrix, it's gaining momentum. Um, they help us reduce the degrees of freedom and they provide some structure and also allow for a consistent curation of data quality readings. Um, some terminology maturity is the quality of state of being mature. Maturity metrics um, based on Buck et al. 2009 paper can be defined as a maturity assessment model with desired involution in progressive stages from a more ad hoc approach to a more managed process. So one can develop maturity metrics um, based on the different data product lifecycle stages. And uh, there are some efforts going on in various um, organizations. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, those maturity metrics help us to ensure data product and information are scientifically sound and utilized, fully documented and transparent, well-preserved and integrated and readily attendable and usable. And I have a list, some of the maturity metrics developed so far 
in this slide and also summarized in my overview paper in Data Science Journal. I will not go through all of them, but I would like to touch on um, just one storage maturity metrics, which um, I have participated in developing and implementing in the next few slides. So the data storage maturity metric, short for DSMM, is the unifying framework for measuring storage practice applied to individual data products. It was developed jointly by um, domain subject, manage, uh, subject matter expert, such as those in uh, data management, uh, science and the technology, and leveraging institutional knowledge and um, community-based practices and standards. And it was vetted to use um, case studies with a data set of different data types or um, data, or data sets managed by different organizations in collaboration with the NCEI data storeship division and the data storeship community. And it evaluates storeship maturity in nine key components, uh, including data quality assurance, data quality control monitoring, as well as the documenting, document, documenting the practices in data quality assessment. Um, the, I have a set of introduction slides um, at tinyurl.com slash DSMM intro. So it has been applied to over 800 NOAA data sets and it's now a part of NOAA one-stop process, one-stop ready process. The, Developing and implementing the DSMM has been viewed as a positive factor in the NOAA, NOAA uh, audit, and it has been adapted by um, international data management stewardship entities, such as the Working Group on Information uh, System and Services, um, as well as the WMO International Expert Group for um, Data Management for climate data modernization. One of the main challenges for uh, evaluating data quality, data and information quality is that is the fact that documentations are, a lot of information are not available. And, the, and even if they're available, they tend to not be in a consistent way. So the evaluation tend to be tedious and a menu intensive. Uh, it'd probably be okay if one um, need to just uh, assessing uh, a few or ten data sets, but if it's not scalable if we were to do thousand or ten thousand data sets. To streamline the assessment process, uh, once the NOAA one stop uh, Metadata content uh, metadata team has developed data storage and maturity questionnaire and implemented in a web form. And I want to just touch really quick on uh, one stop project also developed the best practice for consistent ISO quality quality metadata encoding. And uh, they have the displayed readings being displayed on the uh, one stop website and results are used for search relevancy. And we also um, create the citable human and machine readable maturity report document. Um, the end-to-end -end, um, practice, the applica um, application practice are uh, captured in a paper submitted to Data Science Journal. Um, to summarize a takeaway message and assessing data product or data set quality should be treated as a multi-dimensional problem. And uh, maturity assessment models can be used to measure and present quality readings of individual data sets. And I think it's a time for community to come together for a standardized approach, which will help us um, with improved usability and interoperability of quality readings. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity. And uh, any question, um, I will 
stop here for the question. And uh, um, if you would like to um, collaborate with me or with IQC, please contact me at gpeng at ncsu.edu. I do have a several um, backup slides at the end of this um, presentation. If you uh, that maps the current maturity models into the four dimensions that Yasin has mentioned. Thank you.